will now execute the first kumitachi. I will explain. As I raise my sword intending to strike, he blends with me and thrusts at my chest. I step back, dodging his sword to protect my body and cut downward. He steps forward with his left leg to strike me. I step backward and parry him from the left hami. He comes to attack me in the right hami. Stepping back from the left hami to the right hami, I strike downward to the parallel position, parrying him, and then thrust. It is important that we don't end up in a mutual kill situation. This is an important sword principle. We'll do it again. In the middle of the movement, we'll change to a sword taking taijutsu variation. Before that, I will match his movement attacking his wrist. This position leads directly to a tachidori, or sword-taking technique. There is also a variation at the initial stage. This leads directly to a sword-taking technique. The second kumitachi. I'll explain. He, the uchitachi, or attacking sword, slowly raises his weapon, and I, the uketachi, or receiving sword, match his movement. He attempts to strike my leg since he cannot attack my forehead, and I parry. As I attempt to cut his wrist, he thrusts using the movement contained in the seventh suburi. Then I take a step back, twisting my hips to parry his sword. He steps forward to strike me and I take another step backward and I again parry and press his sword downward. He again uses the thrusting movement from the seventh suburi and again I parry. I counter his final strike by bringing my sword to the horizontal position to execute the decisive movement. We will now execute variations. All of the first kumitachi variations form the basis and the others are applied techniques. If you think in these terms, you can freely create variations. In this particular parry, the decisive movement is executed with a hip turn. A sword taking technique is also possible from the same position. A sword taking technique can be executed here, or kotegaishi, or this sword taking technique. This is Aikido. The third Kumitachi. I'll explain. We parry our partner's sword and counter strike. Or I check his intention and direct his mind downward. For example, when he strikes, the Kumitachi changes in the manner of the fifth Suburi. Immediately, I parry his sword and withdraw. Then he again tries to strike me, and I parry, finishing in the horizontal position. Afterwards, it is possible to execute all of the variations we used in the first and second kumitachi.
it is also possible to enter for a koshinage or hip throw. We'll execute the third kumitachi again. The fourth kumitachi. If we were to perform this kata at this range, it would be dangerous and injuries would be likely to occur. We both move forward executing irimi or entering thrust. Therefore, for safety's sake, during training, we both take one step back. He thrusts straight forward and I thrust him using an irimi movement. If he raises his shoulder and thrusts too high, he will injure my face. So please execute the proper basic thrust without raising your shoulder. I too must execute a proper irimi thrust to his chest. Next, I deflect his sword downward. He then enters to thrust as in the seventh saburi, and I parry like this. We control his next attack in the same manner as in the first saburi. We'll do it again. The fifth kumitachi. I'll explain. He takes a large step forward to attack. I step off to the left side, bringing my right leg to the rear. My role changes from that of the attacker to that of the defender. After parrying, he again steps forward with his right foot to strike. I step backward and enter in the manner of a tachidori movement. Basically speaking, in Aikido, we never lock swords. If he pushes with his sword, we turn in this manner. Therefore, as soon as I approach him, he turns to the left, entering, and attacks my leg. Then, I change my position to receive his attack. Next, he comes to strike my forehead. At that moment, I match his sword and deflect it downward. There are also sword variations. They are all applied techniques. Another variation. All of these applications are executed with the feeling of performing taijutsu techniques. I'll do it again. <laughs> 